Hello, in this video we're going to look at the marginal revenue product of labor. We're going to derive it from a CES production function, constant elasticity of substitution production function. Uh, so here's the setup. We have a monopoly. Its CES production function is given as follows. Uh, this monopolist has a constant elasticity of demand equal to minus 2. What is the marginal revenue product of labor? The marginal revenue product of labor is marginal revenue multiplied by the marginal product of labor. So we got to get two things here, marginal revenue and marginal product of labor. Let's first get marginal revenue. For a non-price taking firm, there's this result that marginal revenue will equal the following. The price of the product multiplied by 1 plus 1 over the elasticity of demand. In this example, Elasticity of demand is constant at minus 2, so we're just going to plug that into this formula. So plugging minus 2 into this marginal revenue formula and simplifying, we get marginal revenue equals 1 half price. The next step, taking this production function, we want to get marginal product of labor. So we're going to take the partial derivative of this production function with respect, with respect to L, units of labor. So doing that, I show the, the derivative right here. So let me just walk you through the derivative quickly. Uh, this, this exponent on top I just brought down in front, so that's why this is here. Uh, the next step is uh, I took this exponent and then I just subtracted 1 from it, so that's what's going on over here. I rewrote what's in parentheses, okay, so I just copied that back down. And then the final step is I took the derivative of uh, this, this L term in here. And once you do that, you get this result. Okay, bring down this letter in front. I'm not sure what this Greek letter is here, so I just brought that down in front from the exponent. And then I subtracted 1 from it. One little simplification here is that this term here and 1 over it will just cancel and become 1. So we have this result for the marginal product of labor. So putting it all together, marginal revenue product is marginal revenue, the 1 half P from the other slide, multiplied by the marginal product of labor. Okay, and that's the end. Hope you found this helpful.